Yes, now, right. President Trump says he would shut down the government if the Democrats don't get on board for immigration. Uh, Senator Charles Grassley is with us, Republican from Iowa. Mr. Senator, uh, I have no problem with shutting the government if it means we can get the wall built, end chain migration, end the lottery, and yes, let the darker people in. I've got no problem with that, sir. Do you? We ought to be able to do both not shut down the government. In other words, the government is to serve the people of the United States, and when it's shut down, there's some people don't get served, or their national defense may be in jeopardy, or law enforcement. Uh, and on the other hand, the president is absolutely right that when he is taking a very major step that even a lot of conservatives would disagree with the president of uh, going to one and eight-tenths billion of, uh, a million of DACA students uh, not students, uh, people that are here uh, as uh, undocumented uh, immigrants because their parents brought them here, one and eight-tenths million. They're, everybody in the uh, immigration community ought to be applauding it, particularly when there's a path to citizenship after 10 or 12 years. And then the wall, and then doing away with chain migration so we get more people here based upon how they help our economy and doing away with the diversity visa. We can do all of those at one time, and the president ought to be applauded uh, for going the extra mile and irritating a lot of people that supported him. But uh, it seems to be the right thing to do when kids were brought here by their parents uh, and they may be technically violating the law, but as a practical matter, their parents are the ones that violated the law. Senator, uh, I want to cut to the chase on the memo. It's a very confusing picture, but you wanted the British agent behind that Trump-Russia dossier investigated. Does the memo drama discredit him, Mr. Steele, and the entirety of the Russia, Russia, Russia investigation? I think I can speak this a little more now that the, uh, that the uh, FBI has uh, undone some of the redaction, uh, but uh, still can't give you a total thing because we're asking the FBI to investigate, did he lie? There are inconsistencies, one of two things. Either he lied in London or he lied to the FBI, or uh, the point was that if that did happen, uh, then this is something the uh, uh, FISA judges should know before they issued a, uh, a, a warrant uh, to track American citizens. So we, we don't have the answer yet. I can't give you a firm answer because I don't know, and it's up to the FBI to draw these conclusions. But the referral was because Senator Graham and I have suspicions that he may have lied, just like Flynn lied, and lying to the FBI is a crime. If it's a crime against Flynn, it ought to be a crime against Steele. Hmm. I got it. I think, I think I'm following this. I'm, I'm trying hard, Mr. Senator, but it's a very complicated thing. I want to switch gears for a moment. We had yeah. the EPA chief, uh, Mr. Pruitt, on this show talking about the recent bankruptcy of a Pennsylvania oil refiner. Mr. Senator, you disagree with him about why the refinery was closed. Can you give us more on that? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, he's saying that there ought to be some changes to the RINs. Uh, back in November 2017, his own agency decided that there didn't need to be any changes because the way the market is working with RINs works out perfectly. What is wrong with the uh, uh, eighth oldest uh, refinery in America is that they can't compete. That's why they went into bankruptcy. They used to get oil fairly cheap from North Dakota because it could be done by rail. So North Dakota now has a pipeline they can send their uh, oil through to other further refining, uh, and it's not going to Philadelphia. That's one example. The other example is that uh, this refinery uh, sold last fall uh, their RINs, uh, and, uh, and they could have uh, gone into refining uh, and, uh, and mixing ethanol with petroleum, as the law requires, but they decide not to do it. And those companies that have decided uh, to mix ethanol with, with petroleum uh, are, are operating very uh, equitably and efficiently under this system. So okay. there's, a lot of, there's a lot of bad management decisions made by PES refinery. And you are the senator from Iowa, and Iowa is a big corn producer which makes ethanol, I think. Is that, that the case, sir? 
Uh, it is, but don't forget, it creates 43,000 jobs in Iowa. Uh, don't forget that it's good for the environment, it's good for agriculture, it's good for national defense, and it's good for good paying jobs in rural America. Mr. Senator, thank you so much for joining us this morning, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Good sir. to be with you.